When I was 18, my son was born. Was one of those uh, teenage parent statistics. When I was 25, his mom and I got a divorce and I became a single dad. Had just kind of come off of a pill addiction, still like drinking and, and partying entirely way too much. There was this church that met in a roller skating rink. So one morning I woke up at like seven o'clock and I had a bad hangover and I thought, you know, I wanna go check out this church, I wanna go see. And uh, my wife, Rebecca, was leading a small group and that's how I met her. So we got married, so we go to New York City. We went to uh, downtown Brooklyn a couple of weeks after we moved here. This guy, this older <coughs> uh, dude standing next to me, puts his hand on my shoulder, pulls me over to the side. He's like, hey, I need to tell you that God's given me a word for you uh, and it, it's to prepare. He's like, I don't know where you're at spiritually or like what that entails, but God's telling me that you need to prepare. I had a bad a knee injury. Uh, Rebecca's friend, Crystal, who I hadn't met previous to this, she just said, uh, hey, I wanna pray over your knee and God's gonna heal it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so her and Lalu and Matt uh, Salovich like all like, put hands on me and like scientifically, the damage that I did to my knee, it's not gonna get better without a complete replacement. The next Saturday, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning and uh, like stretched out my leg and it didn't make any popping or grinding sound sounds. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, what is this? And like my knee, I haven't gone to see a doctor and I don't want to, <laughs> um, but my knee is, it's fine now. I have no problems with it. So everyone was like, you can go to Sons now, right? <laughs> a couple weeks before Sons, I'm on the L train. There's this guy, this really big guy and this woman and they're like yelling at each other. The guy like looks over at me and he bows up to me and he was like, he's like, are you trying to square up to me, bro? Do you think you're bad? And I was like, you need to move or I'm gonna move you. I'm like, man, what is going on? I gotta stop, you know, we've been praying against like spiritual attacks and all these things. Sons happens and uh, at one point I was by the stage. Uh, Ron Leakey is giving this awesome testimony and worship on stage. And he's like, tears are streaming down his face. And I was like, man, that's heavy, like I want that. Like half of the time I'm, I feel like I'm angry or I'm just completely numb. And I write down on the board, like I want to have emotions. I want to, to be able to feel emotions like what the other men here seem to be feeling. Took my board to the fire, burned it. So the next day, of course the, the train is like packed. There's one empty seat. And I like make a beeline for it, I sit down next to it. And I look to my right and the guy I'm sitting next to is the same dude that got aggressive with me on the L train a couple weeks ago. You know, like immediately I get angry. And I'm like, Shh. and he's this really big dude. And he's just like nodding off. He's on, I've been there, I've been on, on pills and stuff before. And he's just, he's nodding off and he's about to fall. And I grab his shoulder and I pull him back. This is, all the Holy Spirit working in me because every part of like who I am would just let the guy fall. And I gave him my devotional and I said, I want you to take this, I want you to read through it and this will help you better than any detox program. And I said, Mike, I'm gonna have to get off on a couple of stops, but would you mind if I pray for you? So I get off uh, the train and it just started like tears just started streaming down my face and I thought, man, God already lifted my burden of my emotions because I thought, you know, I'm not the kind of person that, like, I don't cry. Just thinking about, like, how everything had to happen. Like, my knee being better for me in a city of millions to happen to get on the same train car with the guy that I met before that had such a hard heart towards. I mean, I would do that a hundred times again just, just to be able to get that devotional in that guy's hands. Like, absolutely has changed my life. I, I definitely believe that that's what that man was telling me to prepare for when we first went to C3. I was just kind of just like treading water with my faith. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't taking any risk or diving in deep or doing anything. And, you know, I, I firmly believe that God was telling me through that man that uh, I needed to step it up because he had so many more big things planned for me.